Welcome to the final lesson of this module. In this lesson, I wanted to show you how you can use the network city model and the generative methods that I've shown you together with the real distance computation in the street network graph combined with the existing data of a city. In this case, we use the example of Weimar. Please open the 04 file net city model, underline Weimar. After opening it, you see these elements. On the right hand side, you find our simulation cloud group, which is deactivated at the moment. Then in the middle, the green box is again the computation of the network distances, which we already know as well. And on the right hand side there we have the existing um, street network from the city of Weimar if you zoom in here um, there we have the street network from Weimar and um, there is the possibility for the connecting streets you may remember um, the street network synthesis component from the decoding spaces toolbox which we find here that comes from this toolbox. Um, this can be used with a boundary. And in this case, we defined the boundary right here. Um, if I preview it, you see this is my boundary that I've used. This is um, just for example, the Goethe Park, um, which we generate with <coughs> that we used to generate a street network into it. If I disable it again, um, we see only the generated and connected streets. And here we prepared um, a lot of possibilities for you to have an easy interface to just experiment with different um, initial street segments. You can deactivate or activate them um, just by clicking on these ID numbers. So here at the edge, there are different um, initial streets for you to choose. But that's not important, that's just um, to play around for you. Important is here again this part, which you already know, it takes the boundary and the selected connecting streets, and it generates the street network based on the given parameters. And you can go through various possibilities that are based on different um, random seed values to generate your network. And here we have the preview. After you generated it, what you can do is that you put it together with the existing street network of the whole city of Weimar and connect it to our additional um, analysis components. So computing the whole network analysis for Weimar plus your, uh, your self-generated area. So you can see how it fits into the logic of the existing network, how it may um, also transform certain centralities into this area. And you can then run your simulation model on the whole city of Weimar. Of course, this is not very fast. That's why we've used smaller parts and simpler examples in the lessons before. But now um, we can try to do this. Therefore, we need to connect the curves to this prepared network to segments transformation, and then it will run the whole street network analysis in the background. But therefore, we have to wait for a while until the computation is finished. Okay, now we have a result of our model. After we waited for a while, um, the model is analyzed. So now you see the generated part. It's hardly distinguishable from the rest of the city. We already generated the plots and um, subdivided some blocks. And the colors, they indicate again the centrality. This is again the in-between the centrality showing some kind of traffic analysis. Now um, the result from this analysis can
can now be used for our simulation model again. If we preview the blocks, then we have our structure um, where we can run the simulation on. Therefore, we need to activate the data input and try to start our loop. Since I don't want to use so much time for the simulation, I've just used the um, part of our model that is generated into the city of Weimar and analyze this with my network analysis component to um, find the central areas. And now we can couple this to our simulation model as we are used to and run the simulation for a few iterations. And you see, you can again control the simulation in the context of an existing city. So you could add also the surrounding to it. It's just a matter of computing time that you want to invest. And for demonstration purpose, I've used the simplified version. You can find a lot of additional models or modules if you go to the Decoding Spaces Toolbox website. And there we have at the lab um, a post about the Decoding Spaces Toolbox workshop at ECAD 2018. It's a conference which was in Poland. And if you go to this post, you will find a lot of information. If you scroll down for the generation of urban configurations. So here you have the presentation that gives you an overview of different possibilities to generate street networks from guidelines from a street grid network or from the synthesis component that I've used. And here you have a presentation. This is very similar material to the one that you may have seen in the um, parametric urban design and analysis course. Just for your information, there are different posts or various posts on the lab page that we extend step by step to show you examples. And this one you see here, that's the same example that I've chosen in the context of the city of Weimar to demonstrate the possibilities of the generative tools. So with these examples, we arrived at the end of this module. The assignment is that you work with one of the shown models, ideally with the network city, because that's the most complex and most realistic model, which you will need for your later studies as well. And choose your own context, choose your own example, and add your own logic to the urban development model. So try to add um, additional land uses, add your own logics, which land use may be close to another land use, or maybe you may try to avoid this land use, and try to develop your own model, implement it, document it, and submit it as your exercise. Good luck with it.